Next on Enviro Close Up, environmental injustice fought and won in Virginia. And who overturned it? How, how did you how did you stop it? The strategy we used was to read every line of application data. And this is true for every one of the communities that we're bringing up. You have to know what they're applying as data for the sites, what they're using for population, what they're saying about environmental justice and then identify the actual information that you need to counter it. So by erasing the entire cultural history of Union Hill, this is a pattern that we see across the communities. So the Pine Grove community that Stephanie will be talking about later, where a historic register Rosenwald School is being impacted by a huge waste dump. There isn't the close attention to the Historic Act, Section 106, where you engage with the community, you make uh, changes based on the fact that there are very likely burials there. One thing that we had to do was because in Union Hill, there was a scorched earth. It had um, on the night the 15th Amendment passed giving former slaves um, the enforced right to vote, the two to one majority of slaves were going to then, former slaves, excuse me, were going to outnumber their white voting counterparts. Um, all of the courthouse records were burnt, burning the enslavement uh, names that could have been used to ask for reparations. So we had to go to alternatives. We used oral narratives and through that learned that a descendant of Thomas Jefferson and Betsy Hemings, the niece of Sally Hemings, is living in Union Hill. We learned the site of hundreds of unmarked slave burials. And now we have applied for historic, rural historic district for Union Hill that was heard last Thursday and said to be eligible by the first phase of the Department of Historic Resources in Virginia process. So how do we do it? We bring to the foreground the actual mechanisms of racism that is erasing the history and people of these places and counter it with the facts through using archive, plantation documents, by um, locating and mapping slave burials, and by fighting this by all means possible. Our strategy is to use the deliberate erasures of this important history against the applicant by providing the true and factual stories in the face of this racism. Absolutely essential was the role played by the Southern Environmental Law Center that used our community evidence to create groundbreaking legal challenges to the siting of the compressor station in Union Hill. Thanks for watching.